Welcome back, everybody. I uh, forgot what date it is. December 3rd, I think. It's Friday. Payday. <laughs> As you see in front of me, I have, for the past three days, been working on. And it doesn't look pretty, but trust me, this is just the base and what you call the template. Um, I managed to use a couple of things from the old thing. The only problem issue right here would be this wouldn't be able to touch this. So who just who needs courtesy lights anyways? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, gonna be making um, a video on the interior and what so far what I've done to it. Um, I got my gauges there. My chrome vent that I'm technically borrowing at the moment. I am gonna buy four brand new ones. This one that was laying around in the shop and I'm gonna use this as it functions really quite good here. Uh, for some reason it's just being stupid. All the way up and that's I'll close. Anyways, so I have the dash on top done. Um, here is all going to be a single unified piece. Um, this part, you know, of the dash, the top part is going to go up to, up to here and stuff. Is all going to be unified and it's going to overlap onto the front that the front part of the dash um that's where i'm gonna have a couple of um these u-clips i got these my dad actually got these from harbor freight and i asked him around hey what do you call those clips that you put here in the screw or bolt and he had this i'm gonna use the uh the factory screws as it actually kind of works with the um the clips itself and because I don't feel like using a screwdriver, I'd rather use a um, hexed uh, top to make it easier to take stuff off and on with a ratchet or with a wrench than trying to fit a screwdriver that can't really work. Um, I've been trying for the past four hours, for the past three days, actually four days, um, to try to get something situated. This is the hard part, honestly, is this area of the driver's side over there is just going to be a flat panel and a glove box and just the two ac uh, ac vents like that but sideways and yeah so um technically this isn't on all the way um let's bring this down a little bit no maybe 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 okay so I got some Mexican engineer in there. <laughs> um, it actually works. I hooked up. All right, I'm sorry. I accidentally hit the uh, power button on the phone. I hooked up the AC unit. And this thing blows the cold. Well, cold because in here it's cold. Um, the AC compressor and system looks new. But there's something not right. So um, do a vacuum. Put some dye. And charge it up and see what it does. But. The system's fairly new. Anyways, um, now the sense of things down, but this blows right directly at my face and a little bit on the hand because over the summertime I do tend to sweat a lot and around the hands while I'm driving, so I was quite comfortable. Or the wintertime when it's cold, the heater can blow because my hands lock up arthritis. <laughs> but um, I would like to use the factory uh, dimmer switch. But the only issue is um, I can't quite seem to make it work for some odd reason here. Um, I can. I would just have to, to see. This is just dash the poster board and then fiberglass is going to be on top and so on. But it's going to need its support. Um, there's a hole there and a hole there for a for a bracket I can use and back here there's uh, there's those two holes um, and the exi existing bracket down there 
Uh, I mean, there's even holes down here. And if you haven't seen the short, check it out. All it is is, yeah, like I said, just go check it out. It actually functions. Like right now, I'm about to works. I'm gonna put that back down because I need to get some clearance on the bottom bolt there. Um, right here, I got a big piece. Where's it at? There's that one, and then there's that one. Uh, I still got three more to go. Um, down here, I'm just getting it laid out. Uh, I'm going to use that one big piece to make it one big solid piece complete to make it actually look good and not funky dunky. Um, leave this open because of this. I still got to make a little panel opening here for the damn uh, fuse box that's in here. Like I said, I was going to use the door switch for the lights, but it quite doesn't work unless I had something over here to make it contact because honestly it touches here but it doesn't touch over there so kind of sucks but um functional at the moment yes i even you can even see the, the line i drew because the contour here i just wanted to make sure it wouldn't hit and if i had to cut it to there it would be cool but the point was to make it a square dash uh, not quite as the way I want it, but squared off. Um, this be fine. Uh, these orange dots represent where the um, those U clips would be on, and the fiberglass and the fiberglass up here would meet down here. So I got two two bolts there or screws, whatever you want to call it, holding this top part down here. I got already two set up, but the issue down here is that the um, uh, you probably won't be able to see it. Uh, that these uh these screws are a little bit too big, so I need to find something smaller that can at least go through it. But like I said, it's gonna be covered in a little bit of fiberglass, so who knows? I might even make it go to where it goes all the way across, which I really don't care as long as it attaches to it, holds bottom. So this bottom part is secured. Just be this top part. Um, and then I got. The AC deal here. Um, this AC. Like I said, I just got to figure out the power. The uh, power. The um, headlight switch. I got to figure out to use it there or what. And I can. I just need to make a bracket of some sort to hold it up. Which I can do is just... Uh, I haven't bought any any sheet metal or any thin metal at all. And it's already kind of late, so I'm gonna be using this poster board as as the frame itself and bracketry. But honestly, the uh, I just don't know how to do it like that. Um, Cause on the same eyes, it's usually the the bracket itself is just the skeleton. The outside's just the skin. You know, it could be plastic uh, or vinyl, um, wood. The old trucks used to have wood and metal and stuff. But um, in this case, let me point this back down. There we go. Uh, in this case, I got the two uh, the two deals here. The gauges are going to be tack and speedo, but their size is three inches and three eighths or three three eighths of an inch whatever you want to call it and then the uh the four main gauges the water oil voltage and fuel is two inch gauges i already had these because i have the template uh right here i got the template right there sadly it doesn't go up to three inches so i just squared it off but um progress there we go that's another thing i gotta do but this is gonna be fiberglass this is where the screws are gonna be so that's gonna be unified and sturdy there um you know all i'm gonna take out would be this ac vent so this would be secured but like i said i gotta make some type of bracketry in the back like i said i hate doing this somehow uh that's just straight plastic. 
And see, there's a deal here, which I could use as a bracket and have it up to here and bolt up over there. You know, something like this. So we're holding whatever over here tight. It doesn't move left or right. So I'll see you, I'll, I'll see what I can do here. But uh, this is the plan right there. And I can, fun I can fully see the gauges even um, where I usually would have the steering wheel right about there. Like I said, the AC vent touches and it'll be, it's good so far. Um, trying to get all this micro process done here. And I would like, like I said, I would like to use the factory dimmer switch, headlight switch assembly, but it'd be kind of cool to have the switches, you know, uh, but I have the book over there, but <sighs> I have the English and the Spanish version, but the, Sp uh, the Spanish version is the only one I got at the moment. Um, you see, and the only thing it says about the damn, the, the panel, the headlamp panel, is the orange is the main power, hot at all times over there, and then you turn it on, the brown wire, and apparently the brown wire goes to several other, so this one, this one goes up to here. The cab clearance lamps. Oh, that's if you have that. So I know what wire to hook it up with. What else did that brown wire go? The front marker. The, what the hell are these? Park turning lamps. Okay. So what about the, the headlights? I don't see those. I'm, I'm looking at the book after the phone. Tail lights, marker lights, no, interesting. We well, either way, I gotta, I know which, uh, what does the what, so I, the way this, that connector is, it's like, like this technically, but I did it like this where it's easier to read. The um, colors have been coded, for instance, that's white red um pink what is that g green green yellow and then yeah i can't even tell my own handwriting this sucks orange uh, that's the orange and the brown's right across black is ground purple and white white and purple itself so I even made a little thing off. When it's off, there's power there, there, and there, and there. Those four circles. There's power in the park position. One check mark there, there, and there. And then completely on headlights are on. These are the only ones that come on completely, and the rest do com come on anyways. This is the power. And then ground is X, which is that. The only ones I don't have power at all is this purple one, uh, the pink, and I think that's about it, and the green, no. No, 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 the green I got power. It's the yellow one that I don't have. No, hold on. Ah, uh, shit, I don't remember, but it was the purple one doesn't have power at all, and the pink, for a fact, the pink doesn't, so... I don't know what those go to. I even moved the dimmer switch and the, the, the thing, the push button here for the uh, the dome lamp in here. Nothing. So I don't know what that's for, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Sadly, you know, like I said, I just don't know how. But I won't be using a dimmer switch because I'm putting aftermarket headlights. I mean headlights, aftermarket gauges. So. Hmm. I don't know. Try to figure it out. Um, yeah, I got there gotta be. I better get. I better be. I mean, I better be. I better be watching some YouTube later. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, it's just I gotta mark off areas where screws are gonna be attached to. And 
there. The only really reason it's that right there is because I just wanted to line up. So I got to not, not to get confused. I do got to make a few. For instance, there will be one here. One here. Uh, this will all be unified. So one through there. Maybe. I don't know. Debating. Debating. Um, but yeah. So let me try to get back to it and figure all the rest of it out. But yeah, it's coming on slowly. So I'll keep y'all updated. So maybe in a few hours <laughs> or tomorrow. But yeah, let me uh, get back to it. And start all right. There. So after countless hours, finally got to figure it out. Uh, all I did here on this bottom plate. Uh, let's go down here. Let's see. Okay. All right, so I made a little bracket there. Uh, it's a little bit of tape, but it's mostly super glue, and it's holding. And I even made a, made a little barrier around it. That thing ain't going nowhere. Just nothing I can think that a move would be upward, but not even then. And if I want to, uh, I'll just oh, auto focus. There we go. I'll just wrap something around it maybe a zip tie but to uh yeah so now to service it or access it that'll be a different story i might end up just making a little like i didn't want to but we might i don't feel like cutting a big hole there i know the fuse panels down here but then again i can get from down here so, I don't know, we'll see. And this is the, the chingasa that goes there, so I'll figure it out. And plus, I can always pull it out with the cable and just take it off. So, yeah. And then, this, like I said, this is temporary. I think I said that. This is tempor uh, temporary. I'm going to go buy four new, uh, four of these. Luckily, I have the part number here. Uh, let's see. Get this. So, buy four more, put this one back, or keep this one and leave one that's not open yet over there. <laughs> makes more sense. Um, like I said, it looks rough, but most of this is going to be filled in whatever I can find and uh, of extras and then fiberglass or even tape a little bit, but um, fiberglass it. Like I said, the orange parts are where the screws will go into um down here support whatever this part um the only thing i need to do now is just mostly this side of the of the cab this well, this part is almost complete i just need to figure out this part but i might leave it flat here um might be for the best like Add a little bit downward, but then leave it flat. Yeah, it'd be like a triangle right here. Yeah, it'd be the best. Um, let's see. I still got to figure out about the um, bracketry here. But like I said, it'll be flat. And let's go down a little bit more. Um, sustain the weight a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know how heavy the gauges are, but it will have at least some support down here. And this is sturdy now, so now I can trust the weight. And then this won't be moving as much after I uh, put fiberglass on this and put it inward a little bit. Or just, just the outside. Depends on what happens or what I do with it. But this this AC vent, awesome. So you see how it moves that way? So, yeah, once I get most of this situated, so... It's about to be 10.30. I'm tired, so I'm going to go home. <laughs> but yeah, uh, tomorrow, once I finish my loads, I'll be working on this sucker. Might go buy the, the gauges and and stuff. The speedometer, I might hold off on it a little bit. Um, there's a couple of people who owe me money, and they still have yet to pay me. So uh, I need to get that done. I need to send off. Uh, tr the payoff my truck note for this month. Well, actually, 
for last month on, of November. We're now in December, so yeah. And I didn't end up using the, the S10's AC vent. It was just too curved for my liking, so I just went and made my, uh, took it off and did this route. Um, not bad. It's just a little bit butchery, but it, it, it'll it'll be it'll be good after the fiberglass. So yeah. So let me get back to it. Going home and tomorrow. We outside. Matter of fact, I'll see you tomorrow. Right. It's Sunday night. Uh, what? Between ten thirty and eleven o'clock. Uh, I'm about to go home. But um, you can see now a different deal here. Um, got the radio that came with the truck. Finally got it to connect to my phone. But um, that speaker works, and I think this one's like iffy. Uh, the tweeters don't don't work. The, the that speaker and this back speaker don't. You know. So either which way, this interior is gonna be kind of taken apart. So speakers are gonna be new anyways. But um. Glad to that. Glad that the radio works. Um, so you can kind of see where the radio is gonna be. The radio is gonna be a little bit closer this way. Um, you know, as you sit in the truck right here, um, AC controls easy to reach right here. Radio easy, and then the AC vent. Um, it's gonna be. Right, right in that, right in that vicinity somewhere behind, you know, right there. So the AC deal here is gonna be right there. Then the radio, easy controls, whatever. Um, what else? The other gauges. I got this a little bit downward. Hold on. It's hard to do with one hand. Right about there. All right. So gauges are there. The other gauges now, if you're wondering about the um, the shifter, the shifter right there. Now, it will be kind of in the way of the AC controls um, and the radio. Unless I put the radio up here and the AC controls at some point right here. I don't know. It's all, it's all kind of debatable. Um... Honestly, to me, it's not in the way, really. I just get it over with. Um, you know. So. If it was a standard, it, it, I, I would I would worry more about the, the stick shift. Because this, this thing is kind of huge. Um, all I did was um, measure the four centimeters that go here. Uh, a little bit more, but I based it off the, um, and you can see my, uh, my Mexican engineering over there. <laughs> um, this hose came off the S10, so I just enclosed all that and just put a tube, and like I said, I don't know if I showed in the last, uh, part, but the, um, the AC works even with this th little hose right here, but kind of, kind of hard, um, so... Anywho's, uh, I based off top of that, cut the deal up to here, then just go, you know, just eyeballed it. Finally got this part cut out. I used a little bit of triangles and scraps to make the bottom part. The bottom is being supported by two areas that right there, use a factory screw, and then downhill, um, my makeshift bracket there. You can see um, when I do make this out of the um, the metal, um, it's going to be reinforced in the bottom in that area. So you can handle the weight. And I might maybe down there add a, a bracket across. So it's all time to do tell. Um, yeah, so like I said, the gauges right there, whatever extra gauges, and then over here, a couple of switches. It's kind of close, comp, kind of a little compact here. Um, the steering wheel is not gonna be here. I'm getting one of those um, aftermarket ones, the nice wood grain one, with nice chrome, 
and plus like i said it's going to be a semi most of the time the factory uh chevy and gmc semis were big old steering wheels and you know the big triangle and then right in the middle is the little horn contact or sometimes if it had the city horn but it would have the chevy emblem whatever and so the f aftermarket one's kind of similar um if you have a 94 and older chevy or gmc you know the type of steering wheel it's like the small little um here this little thing and then the four this way this way without the stupid airbag which is another thing um i don't need no like, damn airbag um i don't even trust these to begin with so the steering wheel will be different and it will be more open so i can see better um but yeah i'm still debating like i said the ac vent is going to be right there so that's no there's no doubt about that um radios just got to figure it out and then on top once all this is done on top will be the cb radio um down here i just add that just to, to see if i like it or not um i could use i could i mean for now it's using as extra support um but i still gotta put that trailer brake over here so when I'm, if i'm gonna tow something just or something right here close in this area right here but um still debating but i mean it's holding the weight just the radio heavy is like a like a song gun but got it working now that uh these uh cigarette lighters and accessories and all this i'm gonna add two of them over here for the passenger can use them me i'm gonna try to run or all three of them honestly i don't really care and then make uh then splice one in from walmart they sold those uh kind of those cool ones i might put them down here from for me so passenger gets three i get whatever the fancy one i can get off walmart um but at this point it's all done it's just just figure where all this goes and little pocket holes and stuff and then the the, the guy ga the gauges that remain here but i won't be using them at the moment um and all i gotta do left is just that so i'm kind of close enough done almost done so the only issue i do gotta say um i ordered this at o'reilly's the speedometer came in uh it came kind of messed up i just made it more messed up though by doing what i did and i'll show you what i did uh when i when it came the little needle was not even on there it was just, just like chilling over here like if like i said if it popped out of place but it's weird how it can pop out of place because there's not enough room so it tells me factory defect i didn't want to go back to o'reilly's and get another one so i did matters in my own hands and uh i kind of i kind of let me see if i can focus here i kind of open it myself um because it's kind of stupid these you know they got two screws in the back and they they only loosen the 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 mechanism in there but you can't actually open this up. Uh, the the thing I got, I managed to take it off a little bit. This doesn't come off at all. Sucks. Put it back in. Um, now it kind of how it's supposed to, and push everything in. But here's the problem. You can already see the the issue. This is 95. Autofocus. Thank you. The 95 and this gauge is a mechanical gauge. Um, the square bodies, I'm aware that they use them uh, speedo cables um, that go back onto this. And a good example would be on this um, 350 Turbo 100 or, or whatever TH. I think that's what the TH means, Turbo 100 350. Uh, down there, you can see the little hole that would be the speed uh, where the speedometer little gear and all that would be at and that's where you put your speedo cable um the 400s had them as well just the 400 was a little bit heavier duty for like the three quarter tons and stuff those 350s were for the half tons but now going into the 90s they got rid of that and they got the 700 or 4 slash 4060 renamed same shit um this is the 4L60E. Same thing. The only difference between one and the other is one is completely electronic like this one. The other one works off hydraulically pressured. 
um, the only electronics would be the speed sensor and um, what is it? Um, what, what, the um, oh, what's the name of the word I'm looking for? The the lockout, the lockout, the torque converter lockout. I think that's what it is. I can't remember, but there's there's that only those two wires really, or well, two connectors that go to the whole thing. And if there's ex if there's something extra, well, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I just know that there's one for the speedometer and one that goes on the other side, right here on the driver, not the passenger. On the passenger, there's nothing. As a matter of fact, I just showed you. Let me see what the hell I'm talking about. Let me just take a quick, quick, a quick tour. So that's the 700 R4, and that's a uh, the not the original transmission off the truck. Um, as you can see, electrical for the um, park neutral safety switch. Then back there, you won't be able to see it, but back there is the speedometer, and over here is your connector for your electronics. Now this is the 700 R4 or the 4060 for the, nine, uh, the early 90s. Same thing, just they changed names. TV valve, no electronics. The only electronic would be this. The little, ah, there you go, you, you see it. It's a four prong deal. Uh, there's nothing on the shifter linkage and then the speed, the, the, speed, the speed sensor. So that's about it. Like I said, that might be for either a sh uh, some type of shift solenoid maybe or uh or the the, the lockout deal i can't think that's the only thing, word i can remember the lockout torque converter lockout but that's about it so the speedometer will not work i wish i could just like you know make a homemade deal buy a speedo cable and run it to the transmission but the way that these transmissions are built that big old speedometer you saw on the transmissions over there the big old D on the back compared to the 350 that's over here small it ain't gonna work but um i think my dad would appreciate if i would give him for one of his other projects out there so you know for 70 bucks i i didn't complain i just the only thing i was kind of mad was how it came out all messed up so i'm gonna have to order an electrical one electrical uh speedometer which already sells them but it's like 170 bucks so that's a sacrifice i'll make later <laughs> um but other than that I, I got the tachometer right here i think i sh i think i don't know if i showed this yesterday or not but um got the oil pressure the te coolant temperature and then the um voltage i just need the fuel gauge now these this little thing i might reuse it i might put it over here still debating it kind of fits actually it does fit so i might use this um when i buy other ones so i'll keep that i'm not everything's not going to go to waste everything's going to be used luckily about this beyond came with these uh, little stickers and these extra lights that i took off of it because i won't need it because i won't need the gauge and then it came with this these are to change color on the on the deal which is kind of cool because the other ones didn't come with that so definitely keeping this and you can actually change the led in the light bulbs to leds if you want but anyways um <sighs> oh excuse me so just at this point is rather where to put everything um hopefully i can try to go get some metal probably around this week um but over there it's just real honestly that's going to be the last part that's going to be the easiest because it's just a, a little panel and then another panel if i really want to make a glove box i would but eh nah i'll just make a pouch for it make a little pouch just slash it in there be good just got to figure out on the ac vents there i might keep the original ones but I already like these chrome ones, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Matter of fact, oh wow, they kind of fit. I just make, I just make the uh, Ricardo special right here, uh, the little poster board, and just slide them in. <laughs> awesome, I don't have to do that much magnification over there. This is the most trouble I had 
that was just weather of uh, try to eyeball measure and I managed to get it done like I said the metal is going to be much heavier basically it's about the same thickness as this but it's going to be more durable than poster board in all honesty so yeah anyways um me gotta go home so i'll record this party tomorrow monday um so forth but yeah so i'll see y'all tomorrow all right welcome back it is now monday so y'all can see a big difference and i'm done so hopefully this will be the last clip upload this and then delete most of the, the videos the clips that i got so i can get some space in but uh the template is done there's some little minor work here and there but technically it is done finished um let me just get in the back seat so y'all can see what kind of deal i got going here um the cup holder slash dog house where the battery would go and the future glove box component because i'm not adding a glove box over there um i don't know if this seat might interfere with it um I would hate to get rid of the seat, but if it won't work, then there's no point of keeping the seat. I have a captain chair from another truck, two of them, but that one's still good, so I'll just take this one and put that from the, on the other truck. Um, but yeah, let me show y'all. So that's the driver's side, and that's the passenger side. Now, the the only thing you see is like, it's kind of crooked there, but yeah, because it's being holed up right now. Um, this is sagging because there's it, it had too much weight, and now it sags. So that's why the poster board is just for a template, but to see if it actually fit everything where I want, it will, so. But let me just take a little deal there. Um, too bad I don't have any more of those uh, vents, but when I do go to, I gotta go North Carolina Thursday. So when I do go, I'm gonna take the little box with me. And if I manage to get to, Go to Houston because I gotta go through Houston anyways. Um, maybe a chrome shop or a truck shop, or a truck shop, a uh, truck stop along the way to North Carolina. I'm gonna see if I can get four of those similar or exact same ones. Um, yeah, and uh, return the speedometer gauge back to O'Reilly's. Uh, they didn't have they don't carry any electrical ones. So I went to the website of these guys because I didn't feel like paying on two jigs or summit almost more than two to three hundred or even actually three hundred plus dollars. I was like, yeah, no. So I went to these these people who went directly towards the manufacturer and I found the seven thousand series despite the tachometers of six. Um best believe it, a hundred and three dollars and ninety nine cents. And that's with free shipping because the order was more than 50 or 99 dollars can't quite remember but the um grand total of the speedometer it comes in two to four days um was 110 really cheap um the electrical uh speedometer in the back has the actual connectors for this for the, like electrical stuff so that's the one i needed and it comes with the, the extra wires and hookups for the abs or whatever other deal but luckily on this truck, according to or the owner's manual, not owner's manual, but the service manual, or I got Haynes, I got the Chilton one, or however, however you say it, and even got the factory big old Chevrolet service manual, like about that big. Um, a dark green or green wire that goes to the speed sensor to here. That's what gives the, the instrument cluster, wherever the hell it's at, probably back there, um, how fast you're going. So... I just tap into that and then power, ground, whatever other stuff. Um, yeah. I need a fuel gauge as well. Ooh, I'm tired. Oh, excuse me. I'm really tired. Um, I need a fuel gauge for this deal because I didn't get one. Because I don't remember what kind of ohms this um, sending unit has. If I can figure out what kind of ohms this thing rates, I go buy myself a fuel gauge order it and stuff but not in a big hurry so 
but yeah I, th I mean at this point it's all ready to go just need to get the material the uh, aluminum sheet metal as long as thick enough as that the poster board there um, it should hold and um, anyways um, I guess this would be the last video for this part part one but it'll be part 1a because it's still we're gonna make several different parts of a of one first one is the dash template second part is going to be me actually putting it together um you can make your own custom dash like this you just got to figure out what you what measurements and what goes where and stuff so um i can't quite tell you because it's all frankenstein but it actually put together it works um let me think um oof, i can't quite remember i can't think i'm, I'm sorry i'm tired <laughs> oh i managed to put the radio back together and works and the ac vents work with the, the and they work where they're at um and i managed to connect the bluetooth to it so yeah and then the i just remembered that let me use this again i don't, remember, I don't can't remember if i said that in the last video or the, i mean the last clip um so tra transmission temp differential temp in here uh, still debatable these trucks for 2500 um i would have thought they had a, a, a external oil cooler just like a transmission uh apparently not and not even the uh, power steering cooler but like i said it's a three quarter ton it's not a, a dually or a one ton so i won't i wouldn't manage and it would have it but it would be kind of cool Ooh, i'm sorry jeez i remembered something um let's see something with the dash oh yes this would be part one a for the dash and part b would be actually making it putting together um and then there's mostly yeah just the dash because we're not doing the interior yet but like i said about the seats and stuff that'll be a different video or just record me taking i mean there's plenty of videos how to take all this stuff off and apart i'm just save the trouble and not record that more editing um i'll just show you what i do with the the back part the sleeper area technically uh, another nice thing about the caption chairs or the bucket seats would be you can move them separately um all the way forward and this down and you can add more of that that bed back there you just extend it more and you can have a bed back there um and when if you know for instance if i do go to sleep or whatever or me and my partner you know my girl goes to sleep you know um put those uh sun block deals sun visors the metal ones and sh the whatever they're called here and then this would be black the hell out both all that back there and if not curtains would be installed as well because i do like the curtains um and the windows here they're going to be covered as well not with a curtain but an actual deal they sell for the mirrors here just put on the door so yeah uh it's gonna need some rip cab lights um take the bed off and then clean the frame and then undercoat it so I'm so sorry. Jesus. Ugh. Anyways, um, I need some help because I know I'm going to upload this video later. Um, like I said, because technically I'm done so I can get most of all this footage out. I need y'all's help. Uh, the headlights is a situation I need to resolve and figure it out. Um, I am not using that style. I want to use the uh what is it four by six or four by seven oh hell i can't remember like the one on the um like that on the 88s and um 89s those style headlights you know the small square ones but i gotta figure out an assembly 
or the bracket assembly that holds them on there because i got these led ones but i saw this video about these lights these uh cheap af uh aftermarket amazon lights they ain't worth a damn so i was like well geez apparently that's more work that's good for a work light than an actual headlight so anyways i'm still debating like i said um what i want to do on the headlight situation like i said two squares because normally on the chevy bisons and generals gmc generals the high-end packages of the truck if they had the square lights dual square lights that's what usually typically like i said high um like a Silverado package, you know, how it came with all of the electronic stuff that you would believe, you know, heated seats and stuff like that. Well, that's the way it was on the semis, you know, square lights. Uh, typically, the regular truck would have a single round light, which are co called bucket lights, apparently. Um, and if you were lucky, you would get two of them. So one for low and one for high. But most of the time, it was just one single. Now, I can't imagine one single uh, round light on this truck. And, you know, that's with the fenders and all that done. But I was thinking, man, I could, wish I could probably put one of those, um, the ones on the these model trucks, the WT models, the big old uh, square one. If I could use that and the bracket tree and all that, that would be nice. Um, but, but, that's, that's the thing. But it wouldn't look like the way it should be. Like I said, it would be nice to do the square, the, the, the two mini square lights or the big round light so i need y'all's help you know like i said one or the other either way it needs to be um let's build this shit it needs to be uh, custom made because nobody has made them before so you tell me the i'll put some pictures in the end of the video the round or the square lights so i need help for that but until then that's a long ways to go though i need to fix the windshield wipers and all that but like i said templates done i just need to get the material and start cutting measuring and cutting out um making brackets and stuff so the only reason i didn't make anything there is because once the metals the sheet metal and all that's assembled i can actually put stuff in there because the poster board cannot handle the weight so i rather once there's metal there and it can handle the weight i can figure out where where what goes but in this area the gauges will go the rest switches and ac panel and the radio so anywho's enough talking um i want to go home and that's what i'm about to do and i'm finished with whatever i did so y'all go like and comment and subscribe and share this video because i promise you um there is no one on youtube who has done something what i'm doing um clearly there is you know the peter builds and king words but uh too overrated too it's it's like a little it's, it's unique but it's kind of quite the same oh man mini peter build mini peter build mini kenworth you never see a mini mac there is this one but there is one technically but it's a little lawnmower and the guy actually put a damn AC system on the lawnmower chassis and stuff. But it's, I'm talking about like a vehicle where you can drive. Not just, you know, oh yeah, to a little, um, little festival or, or parade. No, you want something you can daily drive, show off and so forth. Be unique. That's what I'm going after. And since it's a Chevrolet, I would like to keep it just to see how it goes. Because like I said, legal reasons, if you change, um... Uh, if you do, like I said, what they do, the Canworth and body kits, apparently here in Texas, they're kind of legal, and you need a VIN number. Well, this one's a Chevrolet. What I'm doing is a Chevrolet Bison. The VIN number's still intact. All I'm doing is custom front end and get rid of the bed, which is not illegal. You just got to make some fenders, which which I was going to plan anyways doing. So, I mean, what I'm doing is technically legal. Um, i never seen a Freightliner. A Volvo, a Mac, International, the list goes on. It's always a Peterbilt Kenworth. And it would be nice if somebody would have made one of each. One Peterbilt, one Kenworth, the most popular models. Popular between Peterbilt, ah, it's debatable, but the classic 359. It's always a three, uh, It's always a 
a 359 the ones i see or 379 but it's mostly a 359 but it actually mostly a 359 you know because when you look at the videos the guys inside the interior it's all round there it's not an actual peterbilt 379 dash which i know because my brother-in-law drives one has one so i know what the dash looks like so most of the time they got them little round lights up there so eh peterbilt 359 and kenworth w900 it'll be a nice one uh, i've only seen a couple of them they're small scale they're not an actual car or truck chassis so it'd be nice to see one of those uh freightliner the only thing one i can think is the classic the fl d120s classic international ooh, uh it'll be that one model oh what is it called um the it has a square hood it's like not the old ones where it was a single light in the front of the hood it's uh what the model is it uh 9000 it's a 9000 model that's all i can remember 9000 model 93 i think it was 93 this was a square cab and square hood big hood i think that's what it was international yeah that 9000 9, 9, uh, 9300 9300 i think that's what it yeah i think that's what it is a uh, volvo uh well you got the volvo gmc the white one i got that's that, hey, that's a good one mac r model classic or superliner better um you know something classic old truck like old people yeah, are used to like hey man that's that's the truck i used to drive back in the 70s 80s you know not i don't think someone's gonna make one of these into a damn cascadia that's, to begin with that's ugly <laughs> i don't like them trucks so well that's just my personal preference but either which way i don't think someone's gonna make a, a freight on or cascadia or me, me making a chevrolet bison or if it was a gmc the gmc general but hey everybody got their own preferences so well, i'm done so like i said go like comment subscribe i'll be editing this all out and not really much to edit just put together and upload tonight so like i said i need some help on on the fuel um the ohms whatever i need to use and then the headlight situation what to go square lights or the big single or two actually it doesn't really matter just gotta see if it fit within the, the fender so like i said i'll add some two photos so y'all can see the difference one and the other so yeah appreciate it wait for part one the uh, b <laughs> this is part 1a so i'll catch y'all on the flip side